Hey there, SLPs. This is Felice Clark, the Dappling Speechy, and I wanted to come on to show you an efficient way that you can utilize Google Slide presentations to cover your teletherapy sessions and your distance learning weekly activities. So a Google Slide presentation is basically a PowerPoint, but it is a digital version of that that goes in your Google Drive. Okay, so you can you have a Google slide, you open it up, and it's just like a PowerPoint. The fun thing about a Google slide presentation is that you can share it to other colleagues very easily, and they can have access to it, they can edit it, but then you can also present it from anywhere. So it, this is what it would look like. You can present it on a screen and then share it out. And, um, it, and then you can also assign these to students in Google Classroom. Um, like an actual Google slide activity. And so I've actually added some Google slide activity, ver like versions of some of my activities that I've made, such as my social inferencing flip books are now in a Google slide presentation. So when you download that resource, you also have access to having each of the, the task cards in a slide format. And my no prep build a sentence, same thing. So, I was making Google slide presentations for all of my push in units because when I go into the classroom, I have access to the smart board and I would do this as part of the whole class instruction. And then after I read the book and we did the Google, the presentation, we would break up into three groups and the teacher would run a station. I would run a station and one of the aides would run a stations and then the kid would the kids would rotate between the stations so i had been using these in that way and then now um a few slps have reached out to me saying that they love these um, because they can record themselves using this google slide presentation to make language activities and then they send them to students and i was like genius <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's amazing. So that's what I did this week with this push in slide. I clicked present and I just pretended my kids were sitting in front of me or I was in front of a class. And it, it's kind of weird to talk because I notice like when I know there's a microphone, <laughs> I start, I, I totally turn on the teacher voice. So I'll have to let you hear my teacher voice. Um, and I was just like, let's talk about ocean animals, friends. And I just would watch the, the slide and just try to come up with a language activity. One of the things that really worked well for me was just remembering to pause and go slow because my kids need that anyway. But then it helped me to have a really good rate of speech. And I tried to stay relaxed because I think there is a little anxiety of being on record and wondering <laughs> like, oh my gosh, is this going to go well? And, you know, I did well for the most part. And if there was a fumble, I don't have time to edit it out. I just go, oh, whoopsie. And then you can click through these slides and you can talk about, look at all the animals that live in the ocean. What animals do you see? And then I gave some pause time. Oh, I see a sea turtle. Oh, look, there's a stingray. He has eyes. You know, I would just talk about each slide. And then there'd be little slides that have a little interactive component. So I would I said, who is hiding in the coral, friends? <gasps> who do you think it is? Oh, and when you have an idea who it is, I, we're going to make long sentences. The sea animal is hiding in the coral. Let's check out and see who it is. <gasps> it's a crab. Oh, my goodness. The crab is crawling. Let's make our sentence together. The crab is hiding, yep, you got it, in the coral. So that's how I would kind of phrase it um, with my students. So I have all these different slides. And the other thing that I do is I embed YouTube read alouds or brain break videos. Like down here, I have a brain break. 
where are you you know baby shark that infamous song that gets stuck in your head um you know i have that embedded so that we can have a break you can skip some of the slides and not even talk about them but what you're doing is you're going to screen record your slides using loom screencastify i'm using screencastomatic and then what or and another slp reached out to me and said um, that she's just recording them in a Zoom meeting, which is totally awesome as well. Totally perfect, you know? So there's a lot of options. And so here's another trick that I forgot what SLP reached out to me about this, but I loved it. So this is called Way Down Deep in the Deep Blue Sea. And right now I have it on pause. Um, I mean, not pause, sorry. I have it on mute. So my volume is not on because maybe you want to go slower. And you can do this in your teletherapy sessions too. Um, you don't want them to just listen to the book. You want to engage with the book. And this is just easier than trying to hold the book up to, <laughs> up to the camera and all that fun stuff. So what you're going to do is they just put, I put it on mute and then I clicked play. Oh, look, we're going to read Way Down Deep in the Deep Blue Sea by Jan Peck. And maybe I'm pausing it here so I can make sure to get the title. Way down deep in the deep blue sea. I'm looking for a treasure for my mama and me. I'm so brave. Can't scare me. Way down deep in the deep blue sea. Do you see how the page turned a little bit faster than what I was able to read? So, you know, what I started doing was just kind of, you know, keeping it going and then knowing that I had a few more lines, I would pause it, make sure I got through it. So see you later, seahorse, swim away. And then I would keep it going and maybe talk about the picture till it turns. Oh, you know, um, so let's say I said all the lines on the page and there's still a little bit of time. I could pause it and go, oh, you guys see that green seaweed? Look, it's long and wavy. Um, or that boy's wearing goggles. We wear those in the water, blah -de da 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 So you can talk about the pictures too. So that's another thing that I did. Um, right now I'm not in present mode, but if I was in present mode, this is what it would look like okay you'd have the full screen so right now i'm in i'm exiting from that because i want to show you a trick um, that my friend nicole she's a pediatric slp and i was like this is so cool thank you for sharing with me and because she said that she's been loving these google slide presentations and i said well what have you been you know because what's cool about this is you can use whatever i've already created in the Google slide, but then you can add stuff for other goals and things that you need. So that's what's cool. It's like a starting spot, but you can always continuously add to it and it's always available, whatever computer you're on, as long as you're logged into your Google slide. So these are action giphys. So if you go to actiongiphy.com and let's say you type in whale, you're going to get a cool gif and you wanna copy the link and you're gonna copy the GIF link. So you're just gonna click it, copy, and let's say I wanna add in a new slide. So you're gonna to go to insert, new slide. You're gonna click all this away. So it's just like PowerPoint. So if you're familiar with PowerPoint, you're gonna do just fine. So if you go to image, you're gonna go down here to URL, and you're going to paste in the Giphy link. And bada bing, bada boom. Isn't this the coolest thing? It looks like a video. And you like, it's so cool, especially for ocean animals because there's such a cool um, thing to talk about. So this is how you can add animated GIFs or GIFs. I don't know if you guys call them GIFs or GIFs. I have some other ideas for how to use them, but today I just wanted to show you what it looked like. So here's some more. Isn't that fun? Um, and like I said, like you can embed, like I got this on Pixabay. I want to take the kids to some live cameras and I linked them in the Google slide. And now we can look at the sharks together. Real live sharks. <laughs> Okay. Isn't that cool? So one thing you can do, and then, so you can run through this and talk about like literally record your screen doing this language lesson. 
then you would assign it to Google Classroom or Seesaw, upload the video and give some instructions, or you can upload the video from your Google Drive into, one, into a slide and assign it in Google Classroom to your students. And you can just give directions to your parents to watch the video with their child and help answer and model questions with their child based on all the information that's happening in these slides. Or you can use them for a class meetup. And this can be your digital activity for the class. They're gonna wiggle their arms like a jellyfish. You know, there's different activities that they can do as a group or you can do them in teletherapy and everything is embedded and ready to go. This is really fun. Who swam by the, oop, the fish swam by the shark. Now who swam by the shark? The yellow and blue dotted fish swam by the shark. All right, so I hope this is helpful to you. And then what I did at the end is like, if you have other read alouds that maybe you wanna use next week, but you don't wanna have to you know, fumble around on YouTube trying to get to the read aloud, you just put embed it in a slide. And that's what's been really time saving for me and, and just my nerves being on technology sometimes is like, you're, you're just worried it's not gonna go well. So like I said, here's some you know ideas. I'd love to see what you're doing with your Google Slide presentation. So if you have any tech hacks or if you have any questions, feel free to email me or message me on social media and I would love to help you out with answering that. So I hope you have a great day. I hope this was helpful. If this was helpful, let me know. But what I like about this too is you can even break up the slides and say, okay, I'm going to do the grammar slides. Um, another SLP can find the book read alouds. Another SLP can do the Giphy actions. And the next thing you know, you guys have a full language unit that you all shared the work and then you can share it. Okay. So I hope this was helpful. Again, let me know in the comments what you think. Talk to you later. Bye.